uh, guidelines from the American College of Gastroenterology recommend testing for H. pylori using tests of active infection. Tests of active infection are the urea breath test and the H. pylori stool antigen. And these tests detect actual bacteria that is infecting the patient at that time. These are in distinction to tests of prior exposure, such as serology, which the guidelines discourage using and advise against using. The reason serology is not a good test for detection of H. pylori is because it really shows previous exposure. When someone is exposed to H. pylori, they make antibodies against it. Those antibodies remain in circulation and remain detectable for years or even the lifetime of the patient even though the infection may have been eradicated. So if a patient had H. pylori, it got treated and infection got eradicated, five years down the road, if you check serology, it would still be positive. What this does is that it raises the likelihood of false positive results. So with a background prevalence of around 20%, which is what we see in much of the United States, uh, a very high percentage of positive test results based on serologic testing would be false positives. This would lead to a lot of unnecessary use of antibiotics and all the complications that go along with uh, overuse of antibiotics.